everyone and welcome to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and give me a big thumbs up at the end of the video. So let's jump straight into week two of the reading plan, Embracing the Storms of Life. Um, that Lisa Mack and I have um, put together. Um, so I will be using this washi, which came from Joann's, and these adorable printables from Print, Pray, Slay. Um, I won't probably use all of them. I think I'm just gonna focus on this sheet that has the butterflies and the flowers um, and add that to the spread. So I'm gonna go ahead and fuss and cut these out. And while I'm fuss and cutting them, I wanna welcome you guys back to my channel and to all of my newbies um, and to my first time viewers, welcome. I'm so glad that you all decided to tune in, especially on this video. So as I stated in the beginning, this is week two of a reading plan that Lisa Mack of Planning and Praying and myself um, are doing and God laid it on our hearts to do another one for the month of April. Um, and basically what this, um, it's a scripture writing and reading plan. Um, and basically it's just a plan where you write the scriptures every day, you read them so they can sink into your spirit, plant a seed so it can take root into your spirit. So when those storms come, you're, uh, you're able to embrace them. You're able to go through them, um, with some courage you're able to go through them with some fight instead of with defeat instead of with depression so often we are um well not often but a lot of times in life you're going to have some storms that you're going to have to face some are bigger than others some are smaller some are more frequent and some are infrequent but either way the best way to get through them is to embrace them and the best way to embrace them is with the with all of the things that you need in order to get through the storm um let's say real life you get the news broadcast they say you're going to have this bad storm the first thing you do is get in pre preparation mode you go to get all your supplies you get your batteries you get some extra waters um you put all of your case of in case of emergency things um in a secure waterproof um box or whatever so you can have everything you need just in case that storm gets so bad that you have to take shelter or leave your home well that's what this reading plan is about it's about equipping you preparing you with scriptures that were given to these men in the bible under the influence of the holy spirit these scriptures were given to them to have them ready when the storms of life came so with these scriptures that we have chosen they were given to us through the holy spirit and we not only are encouraging you all to write them and read them we're doing it ourselves because we have storms that we go through storms that we're trying to prepare for and storms that we are coming out of and with the word of god that is your survival kit the word of god god is your water your batteries, your flashlights, your in case of emergency kit. The scripture is everything that you need to embrace when the storm hits. So that's why we wanted to do this reading plan this month, especially, I mean, April showers <laughs> bring May flowers. So, you know, with that being said, that's why I've been trying to stick with like the floral theme in my spread, because I believe in my heart and my soul that even though Sometimes these storms may come and look ugly and you're uncertain of how the storm is going to end. At the end of the day, you're gonna get rainbows, you're gonna get a flower, you're gonna get vegetation. Water is what is necessary to grow things, to grow beautiful things. And through that storm, even though the storm and the wind and the lightning may be you know, coming at you hard, you have to, hold on to the true fact that there will be beauty at the end of this. So that's again, one of the reasons why I tried to stick with the butterflies and the flowers, because I know at the end of each and every one of my storms, God is going to produce a harvest so beautiful, so great and so abundant 
is gonna make going through all of that so worth it. All right, so this week I am using the Study Bible for Women, which is in the New King James Version. Last week I used the um, NLT and I actually used the Inspire Bible Journaling Bible, um, in which it gave you the opportunity to go through and color and do all the fun things in that Bible. But this week I wanted to switch it up, um, not only just because I have so many Bibles and this is a great opportunity to be able to use different ones, just also so I can kind of cross reference the scriptures with different versions. Um, the New King James Version is a, more similar to the King James. It just takes out the, the thus is saith the Lord kind of thing. So with this Bible, it is a study Bible specifically for women, which I think is really amazing because a lot of times, you know, when we get reading plans and we get Bibles, um, we want to know how the word affects us as women. So in the study Bible, it gives you specific um, study notes and um, keywords to kind of um, help you understand what the Bible is saying to you as a woman. Um, so if you're interested in this Bible, um, make sure you check out my Amazon shop. I will have this in my um, Amazon shop. I forget what category, but if you click on it, you'll see the Bible. So it's, I really, really recommend to always have a hard copy of the Bible outside of just having your, um, your app because sometimes your battery might be dead or you know, you may be somewhere and you don't have any service. So if you have a hard Bible, you can always get to the word that way. So this week's reading plan, um, as you saw at the beginning, I decided to um, do my layout before I actually wrote um, my scriptures for the week. And it's kind of similar to how I would plan in my happy planner. Um, and with this month's reading plan, I decided to do in my traveler's notebook and Lisa is gonna to continue to do in her happy planner. That way for all of my faith planners, you'll kind of see some different ways on how to do your reading plans in your faith planners, regardless if it's a happy planner or a traveler's notebook. I conclude I'm gonna go ahead and just let you kind of see me write my scriptures as well as lay some washi in between writing them but every scripture from the Bible are my favorite but the two that stood out to me this week was day 8 and day 10 um, day 8 was 2nd Corinthians 4 verses 8 through 9 and again this is the New King James version that I'm reading um, day 8 it talks about which was Monday we are hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. And a lot of times when you are going through storms, you feel like you're hard pressed. You feel like, oh, woe is me, I'm in despair. And you feel like all is destroyed. But God is letting you know that you are not crushed you are not perplexed because with the word of God he gives us strength he makes us more than conquerors and then on day 10 which is um, from the Old Testament and 2nd Corinthians was from the New Testament um, but day 10 which was Isaiah 43 2 that's the Old Testament but it's still just as valuable as if it happened today and it says when you pass through the waters I will be with you and through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flames scorch you. That right there by itself can just crush the whole reading plan. You don't need to write another scripture. Just 
focus on that. <laughs> no, but all seriousness, I mean, that is so deep because if you think about it, a lot of times when you get in the water and you feel like you're getting overtaken by the waves, you feel like, oh my gosh, my, my life, I'm about to drown. But God is saying that no river, no ocean, no pond, no lake, no nothing can overflow you because he's with you. You have to always remember that. Like we always feel like we're going through storms by ourselves, but we are spirit beings. So that means God is always with us. We are always connected to God. As long as we continue to honor him, as long as we believe that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior, as long as we ask God to forgive us daily, he is going to always be with us. So I want to encourage you all, um, whether you have started the reading plan on day one or you're just starting it now, know that God is going to be with you through your storm. So embrace it. Embrace the fact that God is going to be there holding you. He's going to be there protecting you. He's going to send people to you that you may need during that time to pray for you that might bless you with something that you needed. So just stay encouraged and stay blessed and stay focused and know that you will not be overflowed. You will not be scorched. No weapon formed against you shall prosper because God is with you. So I hope you guys are enjoying week two. I can't wait to jump into week three. Um, you all keep continue to post your spreads. Um, post things of encouragement in the Facebook group. All of those links will be in the bottom of the description box. So if you need the reading plan or if you want to connect with us, everything that you need will be in the description box um, as well. Like I said, it will be a link that you will be able to see. Um, also, in order to get any of the Bibles that I have been using so far. Um, so I'm just going to add a little bit more washi because, you know, I wouldn't be a planner girl if I didn't add a little more washing. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if this has inspired you, make sure you share this with your planner friends so they can also be inspired to create their own lovely plan. So until next time, planner fam, peace. Thank you again for watching Her Lovely Plan and I hope that you click that subscribe button and that notification bell.